hello everyone welcome back to this channel in this video we are going to work on noising for thread or stairs to start let's go and create new family from here select profile stair noising as you can see we have our thread surface and riser surface here our thread will be below this line and our riser will be behind this line and we need to create our profile in this quadrant so first of all let's set our unit as you know this is a profile so the only thing we have here is this line option click on it and from here you can use different types of line rectangle circle and different shapes to create your shape select rectangle and draw one here you can lock it if you want by default, all of the nosing in the stairs are like this. Now, let's create another one. This is also by default one of the nosing in the stair. If you want to control it, you can select this circle and click on this sign here, which says make this temporary dimension permanent. So click on this. In this part, you can assign a label to it. So click on this one and give it a name. R. And OK. So now if we change this number, you can see that this shape will change as well. So let's give it a name and test it in the project. Now, as you can see here, I modeled this stair with thread and riser, but there is no nosing here. So to add nosing, you need to select your stair and from properties, click on edit type. Now you need to go to run type by clicking here and then you need to give a number to nosing length. So when you apply, you can see that your nosing are here. To test the one that we created, go to your family and click on load into project. So now if you select your stair and then go to edit type, you can see our stair is here, nosing profile number one. We have this problem here. This is because we didn't measure this distance and just we can add this to this number you can go back to your family and just fix this distance according to the shape and numbers that you have now what if we need to create a nosing for classic stair we just need to create that shape here and lock it let's give this one another name and just test it in our project we have this problem here as well so we can just decrease this number We can also create other functional shapes, for example, this one that we can use to prevent water damaging the riser. Don't forget, you need to be specific here and create the nosing that is accurate. Another type of nosing that you can use if you don't want to use any eraser in your stair is this one. You can always assign parameters to different parts of your profile to control it better.
You can also create special types of nosing to put lighting below your threads. For example, you can create this one and put your lighting here. However, you can't assign any kind of material to your nosing or your light. I'm going to create new tutorials for this and I'm going to share how you can use different types of material for your nosing and also how you can put lighting below your threads. So subscribe if you don't want to lose them. Yes, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you soon.